Hey guys, Mac Mike here with a bit of an update as to uh, what's been on and off the bench in the last few weeks. Really nice XMR 1000 uh, Speed Demon Light on the top of the rad kit here. Took a bit of time to mount it to get it straight. Uh, the guys were looking at me, making sure it had everything lined up, made sure uh, that everything looked good with that. Uh, if I was off an eighth of an inch, they were pretty quick to remind me. But lots of stuff going on on the bench. There's another 850 over here, kind of got dinged up a little bit. What was really cool about this one, it had some extreme off-road accessories to it. Um, so you know Chris Black, and if you follow him, extreme off-road on YouTube, you know those guys ride hard. So we're getting some parts ordered up and get that figured out. 360 track kit. This isn't the LT, the long track kit, just the regular version. And, it, and they still look really good on the XMR. Um, this thing is going to be a workhorse. It'll be amazing what it'll go through. We got lots of lights on it, so come wintertime, it's going to do... Uh, quite a job and it'll be interesting when the customer picks it up and gives us an update as to what's going on. I have a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. This is a carburetor off a 9.9 .9 Johnson all gummed up with uh, with um, water and fuel, kind of made a gel mixture, plugged all the jets off. Guys, I do a lot of this type of stuff. Uh, took about an hour to clean this carb, get this little old 1982 Johnson running. A lot of stuff that you don't see that I upload, don't do not upload on YouTube and I should do more of it. Same thing with the Prairie Rec machine here. This is the 840 um, built by Extreme ATV Off-Road. Again, Chris Black, Prairie Rec. The boys talked to Travis over there. This thing is up for sale. It looks beautiful. HMF blacked out exhaust. Um, 840 big board Gen 1, big tires, big lift, super ATV lift, all sorts of stuff. They got lots of video on it. Just needed a quick um, adjustment with the tune. We had to hook it up to our, to our BRP, our Can-Am. Um, diagnostic software and reset the TPS. I think we have it running right. They got a bit of a brake thing they got to figure out quick with it, which isn't going to be hard. But I could not help myself it, to take a quick walk around of it. I would love to get some more projects like this going on. We've had so many in the past, and I just want to thank Chris and the boys for bringing this down to us. And, uh, and they're really great guys here in, in Prince Albert. They build some really cool stuff. They ride hard, and they service hard. And like I said, just couldn't help taking a quick walk around of that. That thing is up for sale. So talk to the boys over there at Prairie Rec if you're interested in it. A few, uh, about a, a week ago, I uploaded a, a video. I said uh, Marine Mark pulled a trailer out for me. Um, this was on Instagram, pulled it out of the bush. What happened here is I bought a boat at the auction. Um, didn't come with a trailer. And you know how that goes if you're a mechanic, you get bright ideas, big uh, big plans. So I had to get this trailer figured out, get the bearings sorted out, get the lights going on it. I had to uh, bring this trailer two hours across Saskatchewan, make sure everything was good with it, everything was safe with it, so I could stick it underneath the boat and play around with this new project that I bought at the uh, at the auction sale. It has a Fulton jack onto it, kind of vintage, um, like I said, but the safety chains and the wiring definitely needed some work. Um, the wiring was just a ground. Basically, I figured out a ground really quick and everything started to uh, started to work with the lights, the left, the right signal, the clearance lights, all that type of stuff. So I bought this boat at an auction. And what it is, it's an anchor boat. And this, I, I just did this video quick with my, um, with my CJX2, my Cyclops gear glasses. And I took my nephews and my brother-in-law out fishing. We got it all tuned up. It's got a 50 horse Johnson on it. Got a nice big hummingbird, hummingbird fish finder onto it. But the boat, we were just amazed that it floated because this thing has got to be 30, 40 years old. I got my fishing rod off to the side. We're out here trolling around on Turtle Lake just having a blast. And we caught a few jacks with it. But you can't even hear, if I if I quit talking here, you can't even hear the engine run in the background. It's just such a great... Uh, running 50 horse Johnson's basically put new spark plugs into it and like I said just had a great time this is what I've done all summer uh, with my nephews and we just had an absolute blast guys I'm not going to talk too much more I'll let you uh, kind of listen to my nephews here uh, playing around with my glasses wondering what I'm doing and uh, like I said I hope everybody had a great summer we got lots of updates here to come I'm very busy lots of service work on the go we're hoping the economy picks up all that good stuff like I said, just really cool, uh, this boat video at the end here. Um, I just really enjoyed myself. Never had more fun in an older boat that we didn't pay a lot for at an auction. And like I said, you can't really hear the engine running in the background. Thanks for watching, subscribing, all that good stuff, and stay tuned. Don't lose your glasses in the lake, buddy. How can you take it? Well, it's recording right now. We can look at it on the computer afterwards. What a nice night out here in the afternoon.
Is it a fish? Really? Oh, you caught the first fish in the boat. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Oh, there you go, right. boys. We got to put him back. He's too yeah, little. It's too little. It's a little baby. Well, at yeah. least we didn't get skunked. So we got a fish, right? Yeah. <laughs> got your telephone? Take your picture? No, no. Okay. Well, there you go, you Ashley. No. You caught the first fish no. in this boat. Touch it. No. Okay. Put him back. Well, we didn't get skunked either. Oh, we didn't get skunked.